What's going on, mother truckers? Uh, question of the day. You know, Jen and I were recently at the airport at NYC, so we decided to take a couple hours, uh, jump out, and try to film some trucking. And so the question of the day is, where's the worst place to be a truck driver in America? Is it NYC? I talked to a New Yorker that was a truck driver, and he definitely said NYC, Manhattan, is the worst place to drive a truck. Now, I didn't even know that you could drive your semi-truck down certain roads, but I filmed a driver driving right in Times Square. You know, um, so my truckers comment down below, where is the worst place to drive a truck in America? Now, so we're going to get into this a little bit here, but we just want to give you uh, the updates on the federal courts. Uh, we talked about this because California wants very strict emission standards. We talked about by 2027, they want to start this already. They want zero emissions and OIDA and a lot of big players, ATA, everybody doesn't think that it's feasible. And they even did a, a testing that they said would cost over a trillion dollars to electrify America, right? And so just want to give you the actual update here and just short and sweet. It says on Tuesday, April 9th, the U.S. Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia Circuit rejected a bid by 17 Republican lead states and several oil companies to overturn California's ability to set stricter emission standards. So these 17 Republican states were fighting for truck drivers. But at the end, although the challenge is specific to the advanced clean car regulation, the court decision ensured similar programs, including the advanced clean truck rule, remain intact. So, yep, the federal government, the EPA, 100% is back in California on this and allowing them, once again, to set the standard as high as they want. And they've been able to do that, and they are the only state that's allowed to do that. So, my truckers, comment down below, but just wanted to give you that news information. So, you know, it's, I wish it was better news, but yeah, looks like our government at this time is backing up everything that California wants. And we all know when it starts in California, it starts spreading like wildfire. So, my truckers, comment down below. Let me know your thoughts about this. <laughs> What's going on, Mother Truckers? Jen and I were just in Pennsylvania out showing some love to Onvo. Shout out to you guys. And we got to hop back on a plane in LaGuardia. So we're out here in NYC. You know, we're out here in the city right next to near Manhattan. And I wanted to know how the trucking industry really is out here. We talked about how there's no truck parking. We talked about basically how actually if they're idling, there are people that can record if you're idling and then send it to the city and you get a fine and they get a referral fee for that. And there are people making thousands of dollars off of truck drivers just trying to work for a living, right? And so because of all these situations, you know, I want to talk to a truck driver. How's it like driving out in the city? You know, there's a mail truck right here. You know, they're doing the thing. But I didn't think that I was going to see some tractor trailers. You know, there's my guy right there. I mean, he's missing his front clip. And so, this doesn't look easy to drive. You know, I talked to a truck driver. And he pretty much told me that trucking out here sucks. And because it sucks... Pretty much nobody wants to drive a truck out here, right? Uh, they treat you like crap. Every five minutes, someone's trying to give you some type of parking ticket. And if you even try to park overnight, they're 100% going to put one of those barnacles on your windshield. So, truck drivers, do you ever go into New York City? If it paid you a lot of money, would you go in? My truckers, comment down below. 